Hello, Lucy. Yes, William. Now what are we going to watch? Now we will watch about the benefits of astral projection. Oak, okay, let's see. Yes, back again on the channel about spiritual, astral projection, and lucid dream. Let's see a video about the benefits of doing astral projection. The video is on the site. Mainly just on this video is taken the benefits the of astral channel. projection and if there are any benefits from it whatsoever. I for one find there are major benefits when it comes to, you know, projecting astrally, not only for what it can do for your psyche, but for I feel like the way you view and live your life in the external world as well. And it's a quick list and it's an easy list to comprehend and even though some of the points might not make sense right now, just keep them in mind and remember this list when and if you do complete an astral projection or you have an astral experience, maybe you'll see that these really do, you know, impact your life. So first of all, for me at least, the number one thing that changed my life uh, with astral projection was pretty much seeing that there was a larger scope of reality, that there was so much more to existence that I didn't know about before. Whether you are religious or you are scientific or anything in between, we all have skepticism, we all have things we might not believe in or might not agree with or might have places where we draw the line and say there's nothing else past that. <laughs> For me at least, astral projection was the very first thing that made me step back and go wow, I really I really have no idea what's going on. I, I'm trying to pretend I do and trying to pretend I understand everything but that's just not the case. An experience like this does that to you, it changes you in that way and it gives you I feel like this vantage all of a sudden, even when you come back, even if you're only projecting for a few seconds, you come back with this thought process of, oh my gosh, so much of this didn't make sense. I have so much more to learn. There is so much more I can gain from this if I open my mind. Second, which I talked about and how it changed my life was the fact that astral projection pretty much destroys the notion of the fear of death that I feel like most of us have, uh, especially in Western society. We all fear death, we all don't wanna die, we all cling to life and attach to existence. But when you have an astral projection, it is something outside of this dimensional plane of reality. It does not exist when you open your eyes. It's not something that's here on this planet. It is somewhere else, something else. And even though that might not be where we go after we die, or it might not make sense at all, it still, I feel like that experience itself opens your eyes more so towards realizing there are other realities and other forms of existence and conscious entities that do exist outside of this physical manifestable plane. So that alone, for me at least, destroyed the notion of fear of death because it made me think, you know, if I can project myself to this level, what level does my consciousness trip to or switch over to or change into after this cycle of life ends? It made me more curious than anything. Before I thought it would be nothingness and it made me very afraid, but when I had this astral projection, it totally opened my mind 10 times more than I ever would have from pretty much anything else. Psychedelics didn't do it, you know, thinking deeply in Buddhism didn't do it, but the astral projection is really what did it for me. And I think because of that, it's something that can do it for you. Third is the fact that spiritual guides in the astral realm Two can change your life. Now this is a big topic of a discussion in Robert Monroe's books on astral projection and many other books I've read on the topic. And I've just recently, if you've watched my recent trips, had my first, I feel like real face-to-face -face, in-depth encounter with these beings. And while nothing was said, many, many experienced trippers or experienced astral projectors do have detailed conversations and discussions with whatever these entities may be. And these guides in these realms can give you advice, can communicate with you, can change your perspective, can give you insight that you never had before, which is something very well documented that doesn't make sense in this physical plane because how can we leave our plane of existence and come back from another with information, which brings up a whole other topic of discussion that I couldn't even get into right now. But pretty much it is the fact that if you get good at astral projection, if you get very experienced, if you do it a lot, you're going to start having experiences with these spirits, with these whatever they may be entities, and they can give you a lot of insight. Hopefully this is what's going to happen to me very soon. Another one that I think can get to a lot of us is the fact that it will expand your wanting to be part of a spiritual practice more than anything. I mean, for me at least, I was getting into Buddhism, I was getting into meditation, and I was kind of on the edge of whether or not I cared about the spiritual planes of reality, what might be going on inside myself. My personal growth and progress wasn't something I was obsessed over, <laughs> but when I had my first astral projection, I knew instantly that there were so many realms of knowledge and I had such a limited time on earth that I needed to dive into it, that it really did matter how much I put into self-worth, put into self-advancement and growth and understanding of what's going on around me and it really kickstarts your spiritual journey because of that. So if you are trying to get more serious and get better at spirituality, of growing more, of taking it as a real core thing in your life, an astral projection can pretty much validate you needing to do this, you wanting to do this. Next is the fact that for me at least, astral projection did wonders 
like I said, cured my fear of death, but also cured a lot of my fears of anxiety. And this is again something reported by many people in the astral realms that have experienced these planes. This is because if we live our life daily right now, not leaving this realm, just being part of the moment, we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of doubts, a lot of worries about what's going on. We essentially fear the unknown and everything that comes with it. But when we have a projection, I think it pretty much destroys every preconceived notion of information that we have here and makes us realize that there will always be a larger scope of things that we do not understand. And because of that, the worry attributed to it is nonsensical, is, is insane in a way. So from this, at least for me, when I came back from my first projection and did a few more, I realized instantly that all my physical worries here meant nothing and that I really wasn't going to get any answers for most of them here. At least I was more likely not to. But in the same sense, this astral projection kind of gave me the sense of knowing that if the answers come to me, if I do learn, so be it. Much like when I'm in the astral realm, if things come to me, if beings interact with me, so be it. But it's not something I focus on. I focus on the now, on the moment, and not the what ifs and the worries. And astral projection really did help me with this. And finally, again, a very basic one is that for a lot of people who are having trouble becoming open-minded to different religions, to different ideologies, to different ways of thinking, I think an astral projection, a dissociation, a leaving of this body per se, really brings you down to a core level of realizing how small we are in the larger scope of things. Because of this, we get so much better at trying to understand somebody else's opinion, somebody else's way of life, somebody else's view. It makes us more open-minded because we ourselves are experiencing alien dimensions and things that can't be manifested into words for other people who've never done it to believe. So if they won't believe us, how can we hypocritically turn around and not believe them? It makes you want to be more open-minded so you can not only accept what they're saying, but express your trips, express your experiences with others without fear of ridicule and backlash. But that is my personal view on how astral projection can help us, at least how it's helped me and a few people I've known. So if you've had any crazy experiences, maybe want to tell me about your astral trips or ways it could have helped you or has helped you, like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.